What is up, everybody? Rowdy Riles back with another G.I. Joe Classified Series video. Today we've got Flint. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Amazon for this absolutely destroyed box that they sent me. The, the shipper was even worse. The tape is already off on that, so that's cool. They already halfway opened it for me. So yeah, let's take a look at the box real quick. Well, the damaged trash around my figure. So we got Flint there with his accessories. That's cool. G.I. Joe classified series. We got the artwork there, his beret, his shotgun, his handgun. Uh, the side, more artwork. Looks cool. Looks great. Flint there on the side. Um, it's the little panorama of all the characters on the back. Um, not panorama, but splash page with all these figures in the line. Uh, legal stuff, Hasbro down there. So there's that file card on this side. Uh, you can go on the website, check those out if you want to. Number 26 in the classified series. Uh, cool symbols. They got like a chess piece, some kind of throwing thing, some bullets. Flint up there at the top. And yeah, there he is once again. All that being said, let's get this bad boy open. So we've got Flint out of the box now. You can see I've got his gray on. He's holding a shotgun. He's got his hand on his pistol. Uh, we'll give him a little spinny spin. You can see he's got the bullet belt, the bandolier. Um, it's a lot of reuse of Duke on the top portion and the bottom, I believe, as well. We'll get we'll go over that in a second, but he's cool. I love having more Joes. It's been Cobra all the time, basically. I mean, I love Cobra, but Joes are the best, obviously. Um, so, yeah, there's the legs down there. Uh, let's get a look at articulation and all that. Before we go over articulation, we're going to take a look at the accessories real quick. As far as accessories go, Flint is pretty light on them for your G.I. Joe Classified series, but he does have three. We've got his shotgun here, uh, which is painted. It's got nice paint detail. It's got the shells. It's got the uh, the rack right there, whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't do guns. Um, and then it also opens to a chamber that you can load a shell in. So that's cool. Put that there for a second. Then we've got his beret, which fits on him pretty well. You just put it on there and it sits. It doesn't come off. It doesn't pop off, um, which is cool. And then I wanted to show you guys this. We've got his pistol, which he can actually pull out with the articulation, which is really cool. Um, I think it's just the Duke gun, uh, just black. And you can also put it back in there with the articulation if you want to. If There you go. So that's pretty cool. And now we're going to go over the articulation. So we've got that um, head on its ball peg. I don't believe it's the double barbell like they've been doing for the Black Series, but it does have that neck on the ball peg as well. So you get a lot of movement there. Uh, like I said, it looks like the Duke body. I've got Duke over here. We'll look at that in a second. But I think this is new, this whole thing. But his arms, they go out. Oh, that was a click. 90 degrees. Uh, double, double elbows, which go in over 90 degrees, so that's good. Uh, I believe there's ab crunch in there, yeah, I just heard it. So there's a little bit of that, it's just under this, so it's kind of blocked, so it's not much. We got waist, his legs come out about this far, belts block it. Uh, thigh cut, double knee, kicks his own butt easily. Um up down on the knees side to side on those rockers um and the awesome thing about him is he's got two trigger fingers but this one is uh vertical and is that one also no this one is an up down or vertical sorry that one's vertical that one's horizontal but this is cool he's got one trigger hand so i guess he's left-handed possibly um, but yeah, there's the articulation on Flint. First up for scale and comparison, we've got Flint standing next to the original leader of the Joes, Duke. And you can see that that shirt is reused. The legs are reused. This holster is reused. There's a lot of reuse here. The gloves, I think. The shoes. Um, but uh, the knee pads are new. This is new and the head is new. So, you know, you got that. Next up, we've got Flint standing next to my kitbash roadblock with marvel legends weapon uh it's the cobra island in the original release roadblock um i put that head in the arms on the original body from the cobra island because i think that's a cooler head sculpt but there's that 
Next up, we've got Flint standing next to our Cobra Island beachhead figure. Next up, we've got Flint with everyone's favorite ninja snake eyes. And lastly, just because I have all the Joes that are out right now, at least as far as the ones that I've got in hand, I've got Lady J coming, which I'll be filming the video for probably tomorrow. But we've also have Gung Ho and Scarlet. There you have it, guys. We've got Flint unboxed with the rest of his Joes, which I'd say the team is shaping up in the Classified series. So that's awesome. Like I said, also, I've got Lady J coming in the mail, so she should be here tomorrow. Hopefully less damaged because it's also from Amazon. But at least the figure's okay because that's what really matters, right? Um, so if you guys like this video, let me know down below. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I'll say he was totally worth it because he was totally worth it to me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.